I'm just now seeing Contra release the three-hour video in Twilight, a topic I don't really think is worth 10 minutes. Oh, don't be anti-intellectual. Twilight as, like, a topic is a, um, I don't know, fertile ground for interesting discussions on, like, mid-2000s, or, like, I, I don't know, early 2010s uh, culture, sexuality, gender, blah, blah. Um, Jesse, uh, wait, not Jesse, Jenny, uh, Jenny Nicholson. Uh, had a really good video on it. That shirt is second grade coded. What, what do you... Blah, blah, blah. It's cute. What do you want? Look, it's cute. What do you... What, what do you want? Vosh being mentioned in the Contra video was a jump scare for sure. Yeah, I saw somebody... I haven't seen the video, but someone sent me the clip, and it just seems like Contra was just making a light joke. And fucking whatever. Um, I hope people in my community don't, like, drama flag that. Now that shirt looks so gay, it's great, man. Looks good. Thank you. That's awesome. Ness looking ass. Yeah, okay, yeah, fine, sure. My god, is it time to end your fashion arc? It's really not. Yeah, anyway, I never read any of the Twilight books or watched any of the movies, but I know basically everything there is to know about them purely because there have been so many video essays made in the subject, and there is a lot of, like, interesting stuff to dig into there, you know? One of the funniest posts that I ever saw was like, okay, you know how everyone back in, like, 2008 was was making posts on Facebook about how they wanted to kill Justin Bieber? And that was, like, the height of masculine comedy at the time for, like, 10-year-olds. Another big thing was making fun of girls for liking Twilight. But I saw a, a green text on 4chan that was something like, um, you're a high school boy, you start getting stalked by, like, a creepy older vampire lady. Uh, she watches over you obsessively. She glitters in the sun. And then the, the, the basically it ended with something like, I finally get it, bros. I finally understand. Which was incredibly funny. And a, and a good reminder, by the way, that like, there are lots of dumb fucking things that guys like that just get written off as like, dude stuff. Like, ah, oh, haha, whatever. But then when girls like something dumb or, or juvenile or <clears throat> superficial, all women get made fun of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like Power Rangers. Power Rangers is really dumb and juvenile, but like, whatever, great. That's, it's not trying to be anything else. It's like goofy fun, right? Power Rangers is a great example. I feel like the, the, it, the like reverse equivalent of that would be like if people legitimately made fun of guys for thinking Power Rangers was cool, which I have never seen happen, like ever, you know? Even though it is like dumb and juvenile, you know? I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I never got the impression that Power Rangers was juvenile. The fact you saying that, if you were a girl talking about Twilight, you would have been mocked in this chat 15 years ago. Okay? That that statement right there is the exact, like, double standard that I'm referring to in terms of, like, how cautious girls have to be about, like, their interests because they'll get made fun of. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I still think that Twilight is dumb and juvenile, and there's some weird shit in there. Like, I'm not defending the media, I'm just saying that, like, you know, fucking, like, high school girls, some of it, whatever. Mm -hmm. In Japanese kindergarten, I witnessed a fist fight between two boys over Power Rangers versus Ultraman. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Vosh, excuse me, before gaming got mainstream, it was a male hobby we got absolutely shot on for? Nah, <clears throat> no, sorry, bullshit, Nah, uh, -uh no. I'm sorry, fuck off. There is there is such a persecution complex over that. Like, video games haven't been legitimate, like, ostracization material for liking since, like, the fucking 90s. We, you have to go back to, like, John Romero for that to be... Like, you don't understand. People still do this shit with Twilight today. There was, like, a giant cultural movement to, like, attacking people who like Twilight. It was, like, a giant thing. It's, like, comparable to the Justin Bieber thing, where it was, like, everyone was just randomly saying they wanted to kill Justin Bieber. Don't get me wrong, like, I'm not saying that people didn't get, like, torn into for being nerdy or whatever, but just liking video games, just casually liking video games. How much of a, like, cultural wave was there back in, like, 2006 of people on social media going, oh, Huh. You like a video game? Fucking loser. Ha <laughs> ha. Like, I, I just, I don't think, I feel like a lot of that got made up in retrospect. And also, in fairness, there's a lot of overlap here because a lot of people who liked video games got made fun of for being, like, generally nerdy and socially ostracized as opposed to just the video games themselves, you know? Also, girls liking games was more weirdly ostracized than boys. Yeah. If you want to talk about people getting shit on for liking video games, women have always had the worst on that end of things, because, like, women get called fake gamers still to this day, anytime women participate in a nerdy hobby. Less so today, obviously, but, like, it's an ongoing issue. 
they get called fake. It depends on where you live, Vosh. If I visited my family in a heavy boomer conservative area, they'd still talk about video games like people did when I was playing Battlefront 2 in 2005. Yeah, but to be fair, like, that's what conservatives and boomers do with everything new. I'm talking about, like, you, you got, if you weren't around for it, you just don't know. The way people treated girls who were into Twilight was insane. Like, really, really, really insane. And I don't think that there's anything comparable to the way guys got treated, you know? I raise you the uh, Warhammer community. They have the biggest co uh, persecution complex ever and say that normies are ruining it and they liked it before school. Yeah, the only, the only thing that, like, has changed in the Warhammer community is that it used to be ruled secretly by covert uh, transsexuals, and now it's ruled overtly by out transsexuals. That's the only difference, okay? Back when Warhammer 40k was like, you know, six codexes ago, and it was all 4chan nerds, they were all trans, they were just in the closet or like eggs. <laughs> and, and now they're out and about and they're all getting angry at each other, okay? Fucking, have you been to a goddamn games workshop? Have you seen what the tabletop community looks like these days? Jesus Christ. <sighs> To be fair, it was cultish to the point that you literally had to read the books or be shunned. I mean, it depended on, like, where you were going to. I agree the community's gotten a lot more, um, inclusive. The, the tabletop community, Warhammer, broadly. Vosh, Nassar, you're ultra coping with this. Gaming was absolutely an ostracized hobby for guys way worse than Twilight. I think you're delusional and you're projecting, like, childhood trauma onto this conversation. Like, ge genuinely, like, I, like, no. <laughs> I'm still, no. I'm not, no. Ridiculous. Um, if maybe you had a, like really bad experience and if that's the case, I am sorry. I'm not like ostracizing or I'm not like judging you for that or whatever, but like broadly speaking now, to be fair, Stephanie Meyer is a pretty bad of a writer. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm not defending the Twilight books or anything from my understanding is that they're pretty bad and weird. Uh, just, you know, there are plenty of bad and weird things that young people especially get into and just, yeah, I don't know. Just really weird. The only two games I can think of that have negative stereotypes are League of Legends and Genshin Impact. Well, that's not really, we're not talking about games specifically having negative uh, like perceptions we're talking about like the broader ostracization of anything like it's 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 a broader thing it's a broader thing also 90 percent of the hate league of legends gets is from league of legends players anyway people got made fun of for liking twilight because it sucked harry potter didn't suffer this fate two problems with that for one harry potter sucks and for two uh, there are tons of things that guys like that suck that like people just write off as dumb like guy fun or whatever uh that don't like people just don't really care about I like Harry Potter, and look at you, not getting made fun of for it. Jackass is absolutely that dumb. Yeah, that's a perfect example. Jackass is very male-coded, and it's objectively, like, morally and content-wise worse than anything in Twilight. It's far stupider. But nobody, like, guys weren't, like, waking up every morning and going to school and, and getting, like, actually trashed for liking Jackass. That just didn't happen. That's not a thing. Because guys are allowed to like dumb, stupid, schlocky stuff. And, and girls just aren't, you know? Vosh, it doesn't pretend to be something else. Yeah, and Twilight doesn't pretend to be anything other than what it is, which is like schlocky, stupid romance bullshit. That's true, it is very gender vermin. I don't think Harry Potter is male-coded at all, Bisudu. I think it's pretty, like, even-handed. It's more woman-coded nowadays, anyway, I guess. Are you going to show us your uh, CC haul? There's actually a lot of stuff, but I want to get on with politics because this has taken too long. But I did get this beautiful chicken. Me. <laughs> Love chickens. Maybe I'll show the rest later. I've also been trying to get back into drawing more, and I saw a booth there where they had alcohol markers and gel pens, both things that I really wanted to try and get more into. And um, I learned a lot of really interesting stuff about gel pens and how long they take to dry. But I tried them out the other night, and I still learned a lot of interesting stuff while trying to draw Neferpito. So that was fun. That's a cool effect, though. Yeah, entirely unintentional. All of the rim lighting there was just me picking up gel ink on the fucking alcohol marker and going like, okay, well, as long as I've already ruined this marker brush. I like the lankiness you portrayed. Well, that's how Neferpito was shown in the uh, manga. I One thing that really bothers me about the um, the adaptation that they did with Pito is that they, um, they gave Pito breasts, which I don't like, because Pito is literally like a freak cat bug ant. They're, they're a lot more scrungly in the uh, manga. Right, manga versus anime. Not a lot of comparisons between the manga and anime. You can kind of see it. A lot more scruffy in the manga. The manga art is good. Yeah, I, I really like how Pito is drawn in the manga. So one of the only they-them characters in all of Shonen. You drew them more like the anime, though? Yeah, well, you know, I, um, I've watched the anime uh, far more than I've read the manga. 
Anime Pato is a woman? No, 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 they still use they, them pronouns in the anime. At least they do for the official translation. I don't know what else anyone's doing. Pato is gender neutral? Yeah. Them, they are a giant ant? Yes. The Netflix translation switches between he, they, and she? Really? Because I've recently re-watched it on Netflix, and I've only seen they being used for Pato. Whatever. Watch Hunter x Hunter. It's a good anime. Okay. Japanese in general has a lot more gender neutrality than we give it credit for. Oh, I'm just saying this carried over into the English. Thank you.